that if Christ tarries at 84 years, surrounded with your children and your grandchildren, you have secured the covenant of life that nations will come to you to say teach us the ways of the Lord what did you find that has kept you in the midst of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilences the destruction that wastes in noonday you have been able to have access to this mystery and you will tell them this is it if you are from a family that has suffered untimely death this is your chance if you are from a family where maybe things you have been threatened, you do not even know who is next now because it looks like death just comes to pick people like an eagle coming to pick something on land. You can be that voice of deliverance by reason of this teaching. I shall not die, he says, but live and declare, I shall not die. You are a minister of life, a minister of life, a minister of life. I made up my mind that by the grace of God and as much as God grants me grace that all who are connected to me by natural descent that by the grace of God they will have the honor of tasting long life I engage every one of these keys I believe it with my heart I believe it Jesus the resurrection and the life now remember let me tell you again before we pray challenging the spirit of death and contending for longevity is not out of fear if you fear death you are already defeated you cannot live your life being afraid god forbid but if i transit right now the only thing will be that i did not finish my assignment but as far as victory is concerned no that one was secured a long time ago i will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a He said, what shall separate us from the love of Christ? Is it famine? Is it death? I have come near this thing called death many times and by his mercy and by his spirit I have been preserved. I can tell you ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. The greater standpoint of victory is not the fear of death. The Bible says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. There are many who have transited in glory today. And I can tell you, Paul said, for, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain. We are not afraid of death. Oh no, not at all. Not at all. That was already settled. When we came and told Jesus, take everything, we meant it and we are glad. Hallelujah. But as far as this is concerned, if I were dead, you will not hear what you are hearing now. Paul said, I desire to go, but I found out to stay is expedient for you. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. I shall not die. Please rise up on your feet. Everyone stand, please. Everyone stand. Let's minimize movement. We're going to pray and then I make an altar call. Just one prayer point tonight. Father, I obtain grace. In the name of Jesus, obtain grace to walk in keeping with these keys that you have revealed. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. The untimely death that took my brother, my sister, my father, my mother, my relatives, the untimely death that keeps sweeping people across my territory, I decree and declare that I'm free from it. Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. I decree and declare I have no covenant with death. I obtain grace. Someone is praying. Grace. Grace. Mention the various areas, the various keys you can remember and receive grace from heaven. A global family, are you praying? Make sure you are praying from your room, your office, wherever you are connecting from. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die. In the name of Jesus, I shall not die. Not out of fear, but my longevity is important for my life, my family, the program of God. And for as long 
as my assignment remains i reject death by the power of the holy spirit i submit to the lordship of jesus the resurrection and the life i obtain grace to walk in the fear of the lord obeying his precepts and living by the truth of scripture someone pray i decree and declare that from tonight my words will only minister life and health and vitality pray Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? No covenant with death. No covenant with untimely death. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus. The fullness of my days I fulfill. In the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 118 and verse 17, I shall not die. I shall not die. I shall not die. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. I live. I shall not die. I live and declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die. I shall not die. In the name of Jesus. Not by accident. Not by sickness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer request for you. I want you to declare over your physical body. Prophesy longevity from your head to your toe. I want you to call your organs by name if you can. And begin to declare. In the name of Jesus. My blood is cleansed by the spirit. No killer disease around my blood. My system is sanitized. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The various organs and systems in your body prophesy it will not deteriorate with age for the bible says they that be planted in the house of the lord that they will flourish in the courts of our god that in old age they will be fat and flourishing pray my eyes will not go dim in the name of jesus i rebuke arthritis i have strength and vitality no cardiovascular diseases in the name of jesus christ he keepeth his bones so that none is missing i have a covenant of peace nothing missing nothing broken my eyes are bright as the sun in the name of jesus christ i have the hearing ear the seeing eye strength to walk in the name of jesus Strength to walk. He empowers me with strength from heaven, like hinds feet. My natural strength will not be abated. In the name of Jesus, as my year, so shall my strength be. Perfect vitality. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah please hear me you know someone who is struggling with his or her health next week is our final miracle service for 2022 it's not the final service but the final miracle service we don't do miracle services in december although all the services in december by the grace of god would we'll take time to praise God but I want to really take the time to minister to people please listen I want to charge you and challenge you by the God of heaven everybody you know who is trusting God to touch their bodies their minds their finances their work with God I want you to draw them and tell them come and experience the mighty hand of God we are going to be taking time to really pray for the sick because of time constraints, sometimes I live and I really feel bad in my heart because I just feel that more could be done, particularly for people who are sick. Some of these people, there is no other solution. There is no other way if God does not help them. Hallelujah. 
So let me declare over your life. And I want you to believe. I have received myself the blessings and the grace of fathers and elders. You've heard about my encounter in the West and many of the fathers by the grace of God and by the privilege of his hand, almost all the major fathers of faith that are extended in age, I've had the honor of having them pray and among the many things I requested was grace for long life because this journey is still far. And you see, when people have something, they can give. Hallelujah. Some of you have the privilege of having parents that have lived long. Let me give you an advice. Package a gift. Don't go empty-handed, putting your hand in your pocket and say, Daddy, bless me. If I'm your father, I'll tell you, leave this place. You have not learned. When it was time for Isaac to bless Jacob and Esau, bless Esau, later would bless Jacob. He said, go and make me venison. I hope you know that where they got the food, Jacob's food was just at his backyard. So it was not an issue of luck. He said, go. It is a law. Go and package a seed. Package something that gives your parents joy or anybody you know that God has helped and trusted with long life and tell them in the name of Jesus, I believe in this grace and I pray that if you will, just speak a word over my life and you will be surprised. You will be surprised. Hallelujah. Yes. I have seen strength and vitality in old age. I have seen people strong they can they can almost play football a man who can play football in his 80s there are young people right now 32 35 40 42 43 and it's almost as if they cannot they lift a bucket of water and they fall together with the bucket such as i have you see so these things you see is not just something you invented longevity that comes from scripture backed up by the heartfelt blessing of those that have spoken over us the times are evil ladies and gentlemen security can only do so much for you you need an immunity that is above and beyond this realm secured by the word of god secured by the immutability of his covenants and his counsel in the name of jesus i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead because god has allowed us to teach this over the body of Christ to reintroduce this grace for long life again over the body of Christ I declare the fullness of your days fulfill it the fullness of your days fulfill it every pattern you have seen that is now beginning to manifest in your life and you are afraid will I die am I also going to go like that by reason of tonight's teaching, I cut you away from it forever. The spirit of untimely death that is sweeping across Africa, across Nigeria, destroying brilliant minds, bright potentials before their time. I decree and declare you are covered supernaturally. We're approaching the festive period and naturally people travel some by sea some by air some by land and then some by any other means people will travel within the country and across the globe i decree and declare no evil report shall be heard about you and let's agree right now for anyone connected to you who is currently in the hospital or struggling with any sickness or someone who came here for service let me stretch my hands over you before we wrap up every devil of sickness that followed you here it does not matter what name it is called in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now I command your blood to be cleansed now I pray for every doctor here and every doctor hearing me every lab attendant every paramedic we empower you afresh as instruments of God's mercy 
receive supernatural wisdom and unction as you attend to patients in the name of Jesus Christ under your watch the patients will not die in the name of Jesus we pray for those who are connecting right now from various hospitals clinics various places of help maybe rehabilitation centers in the name of Jesus we decree and declare may the life and the power of Jesus surge through the television and touch them right now in the name of Jesus